Hello everybody and uh, welcome to my 67th VB80010 tutorial. Um, this tutorial is going to show you how to put functions into your uh, class modules. So uh, your function you want to do the same as the properties essentially. So you just want to do public and then function and then I'm going to call this one add balance and same way you would a normal function I'm going to pass it some uh, a variable so I'm going to put uh, extra or let's call it balance change as double and then what we're going to want to do with this is we're going to want to make the user balance equal to the user balance plus balance change. Uh, what I'm going to do though, uh, because I haven't yet got it to set the a user balance variable, I've got no property get or let. So the first time we do a balance change, I just want it to put the balance to zero to start off with, or to the initial balance change. So let's put if is null and then use a balance that is null just tests whether or not it's set uh, or if it's got nothing in it so if it's got nothing in it then I want to make a user balance equal to balance change and if it's already got a value in it then I'm going to add the balance change onto it uh, the reason I've done this is just because otherwise it will error because it won't have any value for this. So it will just um, it will mess up. So let's go into our code. So we've got username one dot username equals and I'm going to put it equals to Matt again. And then username one dot add balance and then five and that's how much I want to add on to the balance and then we just want a message box out the balance so let's put a format user one dot and ah oh, we haven't got anything to write, do the balance with okay so let's actually just create a sub procedure so down here public sub and we're going to call it shout balance and it's not going to take any parameters because all it's going to do is just put into a message box a user balance and we want it to be format formatted as currency so let's put in our currency format hashtag point zero zero oh I missed that zero in there and space bar close bracket so now in our code, when we do, I uh, said we we need to do is put user one dot shout balance. So let's press play. It's going to say Matt five dollars, and if we use dollars, oh that's crazy. I'm not going to use dollars. Uh, let's go back to pounds. Matt pounds, brilliant. Okay. Uh, and we can keep using these functions over and again. So dot add balance, user one dot shout balance, press play, argument not optional. I actually have to give it a balance to add. So now it will say Matt five fifteen. So it's going to keep on adding to the balance because it keeps storing that um, information in our module. Uh, the last one I'm going to show you is just going to be, I want to put in an add interest on there as well. So let's put uh, public function add interest by the int rate as double. And then we just want to make a user balance equals a user balance plus a user balance times int rate. And so now 
we can do user one dot add interests. Let's add not point not eight. And then let's shout out the balance again. So let's press play. So Matt, balance goes to five pound, balance goes to fifteen pound, and then I get an extra eight percent, so it goes to sixteen pounds for me. And I wish it was that easy to actually make my balance go up. Um but that's how you add, add subs and functions into your class modules. So that's going to be it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, uh, we're just going to go a little bit more into objects and the static variable type. So thanks for listening and I hope to catch you soon.